right? So uh, you don't need that. So only you need is couple of plugins, couple of add-ons basically, which I have already uploaded. One of the plugin which you were asking me yesterday was the Themeify something. That is something which I have to buy. All right, I haven't purchased that one. Since I already, already have the builder add-ons and themes, all right, the plugins are something which needs to be purchased separately, which I'll do that. So which plugin was it showing that you need? <clears throat> so Themeify Builder is already there with you. Sure, do log in and confirm it to me. All right, so here's your uh, website. Your so why did you change this? I mean, your website was looking pretty fine yesterday. Today, what I see is uh, that all those things which were there in the home page they are missing. So you have set up the menu, which is good, but you have made your home page. All right, so old menu has been activated and uh, the home page. So the home page has been changed. All right, so do you want your home page to be something else? Your latest post page is being your home page. You know, uh, this should be your blog page and so forth your main home page all right so where has the home page gone did you delete the home page oh my goodness I think you deleted the home page. You thought that uh, all the other pages should be deleted. You just have these pages. Oh, you shouldn't have deleted that page. Reason is uh, that is that that page was looking so great. So you want your you want the home page to be something else. <clears throat> so yesterday when I gave you the theme, you want that same one to be back that which was there in the theme. You can, uh, all right. Yes, it's possible, but that'll need uh, iteration again. I've unmuted you. All right. So why you know if you would have if you would not have deleted that page, then it would have been possible. Let's see. All right, one second. Right, you deleted the page. That's why. So menu is fine. Let me just see if uh, now this can be done. Chitane, do you need any theme from themeify.me? Let me know. Okay. 
yeah, Themify portfolio post, that is to be, right, this one. This one, um, I will have to buy and then I'll, I'll give it to you. Front page about Gaurish. Do you want post page to be something else? For front page, I have done home page because I have restored it. Okay. And post page, if you have got a blog set up, then it will come. So one more thing, uh, on the top of the uh, line, there is a one blue line. Header. I see. I'm sorry? You see this page. Yeah. On the uh, top side, there is a uh, one blue line mentioning a request for a free consultation. Free consultation. And, and callless line that I want to remove. You want to remove this? Remove or edit, but it is uh, not over there. No edit option is there for that. All right, so you might have to then go for that documentation part, the link which I gave you yesterday. That will help you. Because this part, how is this going to work? Okay, so this is a header basically and header comes in. All right, so header should be, might be there in the widget section. I'm sorry. I can't second hear you. Or first. Header widget first and second. There are two options, I think. In this sidebar. Yeah, see, so request a free consultation, you can edit over here. Whatever you will put over here, it will come right up over here. All right. And header widget number one. Call us this. So I hope you have received it, you have understood it. It's in widget. These two are widgets, basically. Got it? Can't hear you, sorry. Thanks a lot. Yeah, your voice is not audible. You're not audible, Kuresh. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay, okay you got it. Perfect, perfect. Great. So now you've got the home page back and you can edit these two things. And the plugin which you're saying, I'm going to give you uh, after I have purchased it. All right. Okay, okay so. Uh, just to recap, uh, what we have done so far right from the beginning, <clears throat> we started with the introduction right, of digital marketing, what all things are there. Then we went on and did, uh, sorry, website creation was the first thing. Website creation and development. Then it was SEO. Then it was the PPC text ads. We created the PPC display ads, right? We also uh, did cover cross. So the, the search display was being covered. And then we covered also the video and also the mobile, right? So underneath video, it was YouTube advertising altogether, which we have covered. Then we covered across mobile marketing uh, with the help of mobile app creation and so forth. Right, so we covered that part and then we have covered Facebook, 
unpaid marketing and the which is through facebook pages and the facebook paid marketing right and also we have yes that's correct chitanya thank you and we also covered across email marketing now the only smaller element of social media is left all right so which we'll be covering today and we will be done with the entire set of stuff uh in case you want to you know do these things once again and so forth analytics we haven't done analytics we did right i remember so we configured analytics we haven't covered all right so i'll i'll show you how the analytics part is to be done right okay so we'll cover analytics and linkedin today all right and uh, on 13th so not next weekend on uh, 13th of may all right which is next to next weekend same time a new batch is getting started in case you want to be part of it and uh, recap any particular topic whether it's to do with website creation or to do with seo let's say you know in any of the specific topic you want to be part of it i'll i'll register you for that also all right if you if you want i can do that whichever way you wish to all right so, okay so i'll do that i'll i'll add in your email address to the new batch and uh, you can join in i'll also share the calendar i'll also share you know what all things are going on so you can be in touch with me on whatsapp like you always do and uh, so we will be done uh, with the entire stuff today itself all right so uh, next weekend there won't be any session and then uh, next next weekend uh, same time i'll uh, start with a new batch which you can be part of and uh, to start with analytics what i am doing is all right so let's let's try to do analytics for with your website itself uh, gorish what i can do is i can uh, give you the access for sharing your screen and i'll guide you how google analytics has to be configured with your website as the first and the foremost thing and then i'll tell you what all things one should really look at within google analytics all right so will it be fine if i'll give you the access for sharing your screen sure i'm sorry can't hear you yeah sure sure okay okay i'm just doing that all right so i think you can share your screen now all right i think you can do it now you can share your screen now did you get an option to share a screen right next to your date uh, right next to your name on zoom okay yeah so it's just that i'm not able to hear you properly hello yeah all right so a uh, bit on the lower side all right so what i want you to do is in order to configure across uh, google analytics with the website what you have to do is uh, you have to open google.com forward slash analytics in one of the tab yeah google.com forward slash analytics right 
Right. So sign in over here. Yes, analytics, the first one. And you can uh, enter your Google account details, Gmail details if it's if you're not logged in. All right, so you're already logged in. Okay, you have already set up uh, Google Analytics for your website, is it so? Yeah, yeah it's already there, natusolutions.com. Uh, then how should I, so have you set up or do you want to, do you want to set it up? Uh, I haven't set up, but I, I don't know uh, whether it is right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I did it, but uh, I don't know whether it is done in proper way. Okay, yeah, okay. You don't know whether it's properly working or not. All right, so I'll tell you the right way. So on the left hand side, uh, where you can see all website data, the drop down arrow button, which is coming over all website data. Do you see that? Right. On the left, on the left, on the top, all website data, and then there is a drop down arrow button. Right, so yeah, click over here. And uh, in this section, okay, it's not coming. Okay, okay, leave this, leave this. Go out, go, go on the right hand side and click somewhere on the right, okay. Now on the left hand side bottom, do you see admin? Left hand side uh, bottom, bottom. Yeah, some more, right, admin. Click or right over here. Okay, now when once you go over here, uh, in the account section, in the accounts, the drop down arrow, the drop in account, the drop down arrow which says not to solution, right? Now click on to create new account. Create new account. That's what you have to do. Now this is Chitana, Chitanya, I am showing you how to really get across your website connected with uh, uh, Google Analytics. All right. Now this is the first screen which you will get when you will log into your Google Analytics if you're doing it for the first time. Goresh didn't get across that screen for the first time because he has already set up, but uh, now we are doing right from the scratch. Now you can mention all these details. Maybe you can mention account name, whatever account name you want to mention, uh, not to solution, then, then website name, website URL. Right, you can mention the website details. Right, you can uh, search for the category which goes well with this. Right, now you can click on to get tracking ID. The blue button on the bottom, which says get tracking ID. Right, now you can accept the terms and services. Yeah, whichever, it's okay. Even if you do United States, it's fine. Now you can click on the, I accept. I accept. That's it. It's okay. Let it be United States. Uh, just go on to the bottom. You can see I accept button. You can click over there. Okay. Now uh, this tracking ID which you're seeing on the top, which says UA-9828723, right? Just copy this entire tracking ID. Yeah, or, so starting from you. Right, that's it. Now you can copy this. Just do a control C. And now after doing control C, which is copy, now go on to your WordPress panel. 
Now, in this WordPress panel, what you have to do is you have to go to the plugin section on the left, right, and then click on to add new plugin. Yes. Okay, so over there on, on the top, right next to the plugins, you see add new. So you have to click on to add new plugin. Right. And in the search bar, just type in Google Analytics. All right, so you get across uh, quite a many. All right, so just yeah, keep typing in CS, Google Analytics. Just type in in full. Uh, right. All right. So uh, Google Analytics or WordPress dashboard. All right, so just scroll down further. I'll tell you the plugin which I use. That's by Kevin, basically. Uh, one second. So there are quite many plugins. K-E, K-E-V-I-N, K-E-V-I-N, all right, it's, it is in there, maybe K is in caps, K-E, K-E, -E. and K is in caps, right, K, K is in caps, all right, it's not there in this page. Uh, it wasn't there in the first page also. Or we can use any one, any specific one, which is not a problem. Uh, let's go to the first page. It's K is in caps. E E V I N. All right, so it is not there. Okay, we can use another one if it's not coming across. Uh, let's try. Let's try using this green colored one, which is buy share this. This green colored one, right? We can install, try installing this one. So I'm not sure why the Kevin's uh, and the, the plugin is not coming over here. Okay, let's try to activate it. Okay, we haven't activated it yet. Okay, we're searching like this. By Kevin. Okay, not, yeah, but this is not the Google Analytics one. Let it be, it's okay, we can, we can try doing that. The plugin which we installed, we can try activating that. Yeah, just have Google Analytics, that's it. Or maybe you can do one thing, you can click on popular on the top, popular. So there is this bar on the top. Uh, yeah, go further on the top. Yeah, popular. Right. Now type in uh, Google Analytics, you would have to type Google Analytics once again. Okay, for Google Analytics, can you type uh, G is in G in caps? The first letter of Google in caps. Okay. 
we go further down uh, and and a a also in caps the analytics a because that's the way i actually type in and then i get it the kevin one Are you there? I is the screen uh, on hold for me? Yes. Right. Did the plugin got installed? Plugin was not installed, not activated. But is there, Hello. yeah, is there a one by Kevin? I'm just trying to see. All right, let's activate this. Let's activate the one which we have installed already. Yeah, the green one. Right, okay, this has been activated. Okay, yeah. so yeah, let's go to the settings for this. All right, so now we can, uh, yeah, just uh, authenticate with Google. Okay, no, not this one. So just, just close this access code. I'm not sure whether it's a UA tracking code or not. I cannot see your screen, which is coming underneath. All right, wait, 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 I'll just, uh, no, no, don't, don't, okay, where is this access code which you have got it? Was it there in the Google Analytics? Okay, it was, it's given in the drop down. okay, I didn't get to see this. Yeah, window, one pop-up window. Uh, yeah, that pop-up window is not visible to me, so I'm not sure whether Chaitanya is also able to visit, uh, see that or not. Uh, just close this and let's, let's not use this, I, I'll just, yeah, even Chaitanya is also not able to see, close this and let's not save this. And uh, I'll go ahead and deactivate this plugin, and I'll see the new plugin. Can you can you so uh, close this and and remove the access code? Yeah. So as of now, let's not use this. I'll go ahead and delete this. So uh, can I can I take the uh, screen, please? Yeah. Uh, the share. You would have to stop share at your end, and I'll try from my end then. All right. Thanks. All right, so I'll just go to your WordPress. Now the plugin which you got installed is this analytics one. Let me see if this.
all right so i i don't want to use this one as of now let me just search for that plugin that kevin one that because that's something which i've already been using or it somehow it has got a disappear okay let me just go ahead and delete the first and the previous one and then i'm going to check with the other one then in that case this one looks okay let me just see for my website since i've already got that up i'm going to take the url of that plugin from here well the process is pretty simple but it's just that the main plugin which i'm looking for that is needed all right so it's taking time to log in and okay this is not the one okay it's coming as the same one let me just use so let's use the other one then all right so underneath the settings it has come as google analytics manager okay you have uh, got Ma mailchimp also activated all right so as you can see okay this was pretty quick you can mention the ua tracking code over here 
So that UA tracking code which we got in that, uh, I'll, I'll pass on the share rights once again, and you can uh, go ahead and paste that across. And then uh, we'll see within your analytics account only. I'll, I'll show you things within your analytics account. Sorry for sharing uh, screen here and there. All right, so you can share your screen, uh, Goresh. Now you can put in across that UA tracking code and then we'll open across your Google Analytics. Are you there, Gaurish? All right, yes, now you can copy this and uh, go back to your website and paste it right up over there. Settings, settings, uh, further down, yeah. Okay, you have to refresh it. You have to refresh your uh, WordPress. Right. Okay, just, yeah, paste this. Perfect. Yeah, click on the save changes. Now it usually takes 24 to 48 hours uh, to get this done. All right, so have you clicked on to save changes? Uh, just try doing that once again. I don't see this happening. Yeah, all right, now it's happening. Okay, now it's, it's okay. Now go back to analytics. Now over here, uh, Click on to your, uh, this drop down arrow button, which is all website data on the top. Yes. Now, which is the one which you have just configured? Oh my goodness. Okay. All of them have been by the same name. Is this the one or right. click on to all website data, which is on the extreme, right? If this is the one which you have configured, right? Yeah. Click right up over here. Okay, perfect. Now, in order to check whether Google Analytics has configured properly with your website or not, once you are there in this in this dashboard, click on the left hand side in the dashboard. You can see real time tab, real time on the left hand side. Yes, real time. Perfect. Now, click on to real time overview. Underneath real time, there is overview. Right. Now, in order to check whether there is okay, you can close this uh, with a with a close arrow close button on the right hand side this overview thing yeah click click on to this close right now as it, you can see it's saying analytics has entered unexpected okay click on to close now it says that there are there is no one on your website right now in order to check whether analytics has got configured well with your website or not usually you should do this test which i'm going to do right now after 24 or 48 hours maximum but we can do it right now also. Sometimes websites do get configured with Google Analytics then and there itself. So you are using Google uh, Chrome right now. You can go to Mozilla Firefox and even share your website name with us in the arrow button. Oh, sorry, in the chat window. In the chat window, share your website name with us also. Me and Chaitanya will open it. And then uh, once we'll also open it, and you will also open it in a different uh, browser. We'll see whether this number will go up from zero to one, two, and so forth. That's the right way to actually go ahead and check. All right, thanks for 
sharing that. So we'll go ahead and open this. And uh, right, so Chitana, you can also try doing that. You can try opening Gaurish's website. But it says two. I have not. Uh, I haven't gone yet. Just give me one more second. I'm. I have opened on Firefox. All right. I'll just open it now. Right. So what it shows is that your traffic on your website is coming up properly. Now you can even on the left hand side, click on to locations. You'll get to see from which all places these two visitors are there on your website. So it's saying two, both of them are from India and uh, you can go further down and click on to India and you can get to see the name of the cities on the left hand side. Or right, yes, one is from Noida, the other one is Pune. So the Noida one is showing mine. Pune might be either you or Chaitanya. Right, so that's how you can figure it. Got it? Uh, hope that was easy. Right, Chaitanya, you have got that? You have understood that? All right, perfect. Now I'm going to take back the access, and what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'll share with you analytics dashboard of one of my client and we'll show you what all things analytics dash uh, analytics as our software as an online tool can give us. All right. Uh, you can pass on the presenter access to me. All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So I'm, uh, I'm going to open Google Analytics. All right, it's taking time to open up. All right, so I'm just going to open up one of the website of my client.
All right. So now what I'm trying to show you that uh, the, the dashboard which you just saw for your website, that is for a pretty new website. You won't get data for your website since it's a new website, right? <clears throat> the day when you configure Google Analytics with your website, from that day itself only, the, day, the visitors database will start pouring in. Okay, that's one thing. So it will never happen that if you have uh, configured Google Analytics with the website today, the data, the traffic details for your previous month or, uh, or you know, uh, or maybe for the previous year, it'll come automatically. No, the day from when you have configured it, from that very day itself, the traffic details, first of all, will start getting <clears throat> recorded. Okay, that's number one. Now, why I have got this particular website, Google Analytics, opened up is because this has got some uh, traffic through which uh, I can show you the kind of details Google Analytics gives us. All right. The first and the foremost thing is whenever we get across traffic details, the date range by default comes across as last seven days. Now, you can go ahead and customize it. You can uh, see it for as much time period as you want to for the last 365 days, for the last two years, three years, and so forth. I've just selected the last, let's say, <clears throat> uh, two months and so forth, right? So starting from 1st of March till April 29, and uh, you can see traffic details for every single day it's actually been recorded and it's been shown over here. Now, this is one thing. I can go ahead and uh, do a comparison of uh, month by month or week by week also. So let's say my comparison, which I want to do of the traffic is from, is of uh, <clears throat> time period 1st April to 29th April is the first time period. And the second one is, let's say, 2nd of, I'm sorry, one second. All right, so month by month uh, comparison, I have set it up and we can actually see how things have been changing. All right, so March 31st to <clears throat> April 29th is traffic is shown across in the blue color line and the orange color line shows March 1st to March 30th. All right, we can get to see many, many things over here. Quite many things are being recorded. But the overall performance of our digital marketing channels, which we have understood, the digital marketing campaigns performance can be seen by going into the tab, which says on the left hand side, one second, it's called acquisition. All right. Underneath acquisition, you will get all traffics and then channels. Since we have been, we as digital marketers, we have to focus majorly on this segment in order to check how our digital marketing channels are performing, the overall uh, performance report, you can say. So I'm saying it again, once the website has been configured with Google Analytics, what you have to do on constant basis is to go to the dashboard, click on to acquisition, which is the main tab, and then click on to all traffic and then channels. All right. Now we can see the comparison for both the uh, you know, time durations. I can go ahead and uh, reset this. All right, so I'm resetting it and I'm not doing a comparison right now. I'm just trying to see for the last 30 days What's been the overall performance of all the digital marketing campaigns to begin with? So acquisition, I'm doing it again, all traffic and then channels. All right, so for the last 30 days, the overall performance of 
the different channels is mentioned right up over here automatically on its own so the paid search text ads is giving 18% of the total traffic search engine optimization is giving across 60.96% of the total traffic when we say direct it means people coming on to browser and typing in the website name directly all right and then referral means various other different websites referring and giving us traffic so you can say even tra uh, or in other words backlinking with the help of backlinking is also we do get across traffic on a website right and then we have display which is the display ads and through social media now if in case i want to get much into details let's say uh, 523 visits from social media sites i click on to it i can get across further more details all right so facebook it has given me 442 google plus wordpress instagram linkedin twitter uh, wikia youtube and so forth all right these are the social media websites which have been given across this much this much traffic all right so that's the thing guys now again like i said uh, you can go ahead and do a comparison now the other thing is that the number of people who have come on to our website and so forth that's all visible right up over here so sessions first of all a session is being defined across uh is is being defined across a visit by someone on your website all right so 58% of the visits in this time duration has been by uh, uh, has happened through people who have come for the first time that's one and uh total number of so if one particular person can visit your website multiple times all right so this is not the number of users guys if 448 sessions are there it can happen that 200 people have visited twice so 200 people are visiting twice means 400 sessions right so if people keep coming back sessions will keep on getting created there are 257 new users who haven't been to our website before all right and in this time period they have come in for the first time that's what it says the other thing is bounce rate guys bounce rate is being defined across as the uh uh as a metric which defines how quickly people bounce from your website lower the bounce rate better it is if somebody comes on our website and access only one page and then jumps from that website and goes somewhere else all right that is a bounce that's basically a bounce all right so what i mean to say is if somebody comes on my website doesn't do a scroll up or scroll down and goes on to some other website that is going to be 100% bounce all right and if somebody comes on my website and access various different web pages and stay on my website for a longer period of time then the bounce rate will keep getting decreased so only 25% of the people have come on to the website and bounced all right so the lower it is better it is guys and in every session when people come on to your website a session gets created which i have told you in every session people are not going to just go ahead and uh, be there on one of the pages on your website they'll access one page two page three page and so forth right multiple pages so with that being said the average pages per session is 5.57 guys hope that helps right so these are the major things which one needs to be careful about and which which one needs to uh all right so all right guys so is there any possibility with facebook and linkedin wherein we can do such analysis and see on facebook i have shown you on facebook it's the facebook uh, insights if you remember i'll just so facebook has got its own uh, analytics and that's for the facebook page only and that's called facebook insights
all right so in this in facebook you've got inside section on the top All right, so over here, uh, I think we did cover across this portion, right? So there are limited number of things which you can do on Facebook. With, uh, you can just see how many people have liked your stuff and so forth. And uh, Goy says, do we need to paste any code in WordPress plugin section from Facebook and LinkedIn? Any such facility? No. So uh, Facebook doesn't really give you that. So Facebook uh, will give you the insights here itself. Uh, for their page only. For your website traffic, it's only Google which has got a analytics software and so forth. So that's something which you can do, right? So this is the major thing which you actually do on, on Google Analytics, all right? Then there are many other things like you can connect across AdWords with Analytics and that comes underneath uh, pretty much advanced level and so forth, okay? You can get to see your AdWords performance, your overall uh, ads performance here. So you can see my uh, AdWords campaign have been connected right up over here. Right, so your video campaign, your display targeting campaigns and so forth. Now connecting across AdWords with analytics is pretty simple. What you have to do is you just need to go to analytic uh, AdWords and within AdWords, oh, okay, I would have to change this again. All right, so if you want to connect across AdWords with Analytics, what you have to do is you have to go to tools on the AdWords and then click onto Google Analytics. Make sure that the sign, the Google uh, username and password, all right, has to be same. And then it'll get connected automatically. See, it automatically took me to ad Analytics because it's been already configured. That's why when you will do it, it'll give you the instructions and that's just a one click away. All right, so that's with analytics. Uh, now we can go to LinkedIn and uh, look into the paid. I, I, are we good with this? Any questions, any doubt you have? Let me know. All right, clear, perfect. All right, perfect. Chitane, are you good? Let me know. All right, thank you. So the next thing is LinkedIn, guys, uh, which is gonna be the last topic, and then uh, we'll be done with the entire stuff. In order to advertise with LinkedIn, what you have to do is, 
click on to this drop down arrow button when you're there on linkedin and click on to advertise now there are two sort of advertisements majorly which are used and the best part about linkedin is that you can uh, target people uh, on the basis of their job profile and so forth you know it's very much like facebook only but there are the the only the targeting options are different all right let's click on to create ad so you need to log into your personal linkedin account All right. So it has changed quite a many thing. All right. So I've got an account. So you uh, just need to click across on add an account. If you do not have an account, it says my ad, my account is on hold since billing details. All right. That's something which will come on the very first go. It's the way we did with Google AdWords and Facebook. It will always ask for money, right? Uh, so bank banking details, basically the credit card details. We'll start with creating across the campaign. So LinkedIn is basically used across LinkedIn promotion is more used for B2B businesses. All right. And uh, when I say B two B, the most uh, majority of the serious, uh, I would say, products are being promoted up over here, majorly. LinkedIn, if we talk about in itself, is a website which is a sort of a professional networking website. You guys can actually go ahead and create across your own personal profile, all right? So, your own. Sort of a resume. It's a resume, right? A dynamic resume, which you can keep changing on and off. All right. So now, when I am on to LinkedIn, let's say I want to go ahead and uh, I'm browsing across onto LinkedIn. On the right hand side, you'll see some ads. All right. There is. No advertisement onto this page. When I'll go to the home page, you'll find so this is one of the ads, all right. There are ads which comes in, in between also, and also on the right hand side, also the ads do come in. So it, they're not coming in right now, but they're very much like Facebook call only. The advertisement gets created aware. I haven't really found them to be very effective, to be very honest. Uh, whenever me and people in my network have tried and tested them, uh, the effectiveness hasn't been that really great with LinkedIn. All you have to do is when you have to create across a LinkedIn ad, do, you have to do the same stuff very much like the way you do for Facebook. So we'll start with creating a cross or a text ad, which is the most widely used one. It will give you the option of selecting across a headline and a text, which is a description line and, uh, and you know, uh, what do you say? Connecting across your landing page. The same things are going to be there. You can explore it. The only thing which is different with LinkedIn ad is the targeting, certain targeting options. All right. So let's say I'm typing across a test campaign and clicking on to next. 
Now, if you have a page on LinkedIn, you can also create across a page on LinkedIn the way it's done across onto Facebook. For instance, usually many corporate do not allow their employees to use social media in the office. That's right. Screen is not clear. It's blurred. All right. I, I'm just going to be speaking with slowly. All right. So let's say my website name. I hope now it should come across clearly. Has it got uh, clear now, Chaitanya? I think that would be there for quite. No, it's not. All right. Nevertheless, I mean, it's uh, not much of a rocket science. It's a very much the same thing which we have already uh, covered with Facebook and so forth. Okay. So it's asking for the website name. It's asking for the headline and some text. Okay. I'm just writing in headline one and. All right, so the ad preview is right up over here on the right hand side. We can go ahead and save this. It will now. Now, this is the only, I, I know uh, the screen might be blurred. It's okay, but this is the last thing which I would like to show you. You can go ahead and do the location targeting, which is easy. Now, these are the only things which are different over here. You can go ahead and target people on the basis of their job title. So let's say your, uh, what do you say, product is such kind that only people who are there in the top management, they, they're the ones who are the uh, potential audience. So let's say maybe I would say uh, a Mercedes Benz or BMW, if I'm trying to promote that, I, I know that people who are going to buy across these luxury products, they're going to be the one usually who are there in the top management profiles. I want to target chief executive officers of bigger organizations. I want to target chief financial officers. So I can mention the company size. I can mention certain companies name. Let's say I want to target people who are working in Dell, in HP, who are working in, let's say Apple, in Google and so forth. And I want to target their CEO. So that's the best part. I can go ahead and mention the job title, the company name, and that's it. My ad will start getting reflected to them. But why I say that it's not been that effective is just because uh, not many people use it so frequently. Even the top managerial guys, even the more very professional guys also don't use them so effectively and so rigorously as compared to any other channel. As compared to any other channel like uh, whether it's uh, Facebook or so forth, all right, or maybe Google. So the most effective advertising on the top is first Google search. Then I would say Google display and video comes in second and third. And then Google mobile being number fourth and Facebook also then uh, tops the chart. So these are the most effective ways of advertising as an advertiser and making sure that you are approaching your potential audience uh, in the most cost effective manner. All right. So that's to do with the face uh, LinkedIn guys. You can explore that furthermore and see what all different targeting options it's giving you and uh, so forth. All right. So any other questions you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so that I can help you before we wrap up the session. All right. Thanks, Koresh, for sharing across your LinkedIn URL. All All right, so it's taking quite a bit of time. I'll, I'll definitely go ahead and uh, add you. All right, so we are already connected. All right, perfect. Thanks, Koresh.
All right. So, uh, any other questions, Gaurish and Chaitanya, before we wrap up for today? And then I'm going to send you across the uh, joining link for the next batch, which is getting started on 13th. You both of you are connected with me on WhatsApp. Whatever doubts, queries, questions you will have, you can anytime ask me right up over there. Make sense? All right. Perfect. Thank you, Goresh, and thanks, Chitanya. Just waiting for your confirmation, Chitanya. I think you must be typing in. Are you there, Chitanya? All right, so thanks. Thanks, uh, Goresh, and thank you. And Goresh says, shall update the website, AdWords Analytics, and update the page. Absolutely, please do that. That'll be great, Goresh. So thanks for joining in today, and I'll uh, make you registered for i'll i'll get you the plugin sure i'll uh, i have to purchase the plugin and i i'll send it to you all right i'll i'll register you both of you for the a new batch it's uh, your wish if you wish to join in most welcome and then uh, we'll connect over there all right and you can ask me any questions any doubts you'll have over the uh, whatsapp perfect thanks all right, I'll share the link, absolutely. Definitely, I'll do that. All right, take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, have a great day. Perfect.